All right, guys, how's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Tonight we're continuing Ricky Vaughn's NFL career. We step into episode six in our Face of the Franchise series. Uh, we're still playing for the New Orleans Saints. Looks like we're uh, starter now with Breeze out. All right, so let's pick this up. Hope you guys enjoy. See what we got going for us today. Hopefully, get right into some action here. I got a note the assistant GM wanted to see me a few weeks later. I thought I might be in trouble, but turned out to be something totally different. I don't like either one of them. Camara's always hurt. Take the talent away and bring him in. The assistant GM made his notes and thanked me. You can imagine my surprise when I read later that we'd actually signed him. Interesting. I like it, I like it. The next day we were doing the meet and greet in the locker room when coach came in and told us to suit up. Hmm. This is a running back, we're gonna run the levels. We had a training plan, and once we had our cleats laced up and our helmets on, we hit the practice field. Yep. Get gold for an ability unlocked. Alright, there we go. Run the levels concept. Well, that sucked. Very delayed on my end, that's horrible for me. Yeah, that was terrible. Can't be good all the time, I guess. The drills had shown us adding top tier talent was only one part of the formula. We still had work to do. I can understand that. Yeah, we're, that's what we'll go with. We were under the microscope, and I'd have to maintain my confidence if we were going to make a good showing at our first regular season game. Now we're in preseason week three. Simulating to preseason week four. All right, on to week one. Here we go. Let's do it. Gain 12 first downs with the offense. And that's possible.
Mike Thomas. All right, I like that. Marshawn's still around. Okay. Jared Cook's still around. And Lamar Miller. I don't know if that means anything good for uh, Alvin. Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. the New York Jets taking on the New Orleans Saints. I'll show them what we can do here. <clears throat> Take Excuse the me. Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the New York Jets. All right, let's do it. Andy, what's that ball? Coach, what do you call him? Complete to Camara. All right, we do still have Camara. Ten That's yards great. on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few Ten inches here. A good position to be in here, second and inches. No brother. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Camara, and they're able to bring him down at the twenty. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down, and the Saints first down. Staying on the ground on first with Camara. And he is brought down at the 22 oh, after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. At the 22 yard From the 22, here's second and eight. Brings up second and eight. From the gun, Vaughn. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's a gain of 25 yards. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. There you go. Now a handoff. Here's Camara. And they'll work this down. That's yards there. That's two yards there. Tackled there. Camara. Back to back. Nice right. plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate. <clears> right <throat> on that run. And let's face it. It shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And this is caught. I think he got that with Lucky. one hand. One's pass. And they'll wind up Gotta have some luck to go there. Down inside the 20. 21 yards. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh. And too much ahead of him. That's a wide open stuff coming in. Pretty sure guys all the time. Separation. That's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Flush to his right. He'll run it, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Third and five. This will be the eighth play of the drive. Operating from the gun, Vaughn escaping the pressure, ah. and he's going to have to eat this one. Is down. Kick goes. the points, though. Come on. Yep. That's terrible. To cook. Well, they hit it a hole. Taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Personal foul. Promoting the passer. Defense. Hey, yo, what's up? We're going to decline that. I just hear that right. They declined the personal foul. Free yes. yards. They just declined that. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, 
Did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Get him. for the contact pass interference and I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes and rightfully so because you know what I'm going to say doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well no I just I don't like defenders <laughs> all right all right we can do this spend too much time with me okay I'll side with you on this one it's the correct call this duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down oh how about this on first and goal Try to get cheeky though. We tried to get cheeky, cheeky with it. He was brought to just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All the other guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. And this is going to be intercepted. Man, I need to stop that. Forcing it way too much. He'll look to throw. He'll find Miller. That's complete. Gotta be quick. Let's go. Leave him a yard short. Uh, nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the there you 34. Go. There you go. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and ten. And brought in by the tight end. There And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Oh, let's play smart here. Come on, come on, come stupid. First down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun. Vaughn. Ooh, what up, dude? Middle, it's Jared Cook. And inside the 15 shot. I thought I got shredded and taken to the high. Receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. And the Saints. First down. Throwing on first down. Vaughn. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll get this down Sorry, inside the five to the four. Hopefully we got blocked there. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. From the four, it's second and a couple. Jared Cook dropped the pass in the end zone. Jesus. very good about checking my back. Oh, I threw it right to him. I threw it right to him. Come on. This is terrible. Right, let's set this up here. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It's caught inside the 25. We don't have time to do it. All the way down it's all right. The 20. That's okay. Pick this back up. Come on. Pick this back up. To throw on second down. He dropped the pass. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it's a one-time collision to jar that one free. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. There you go, Jared. There we go. Get it back, Nick. Let's get it back. Jared Cook. There to make the grab. As his guys have now moved out in front. Good throw there. There we go. All right, what do you want to see? They start the drive on the ground, Camara. 
And he stopped right at the 25 okay. after a gain of five. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this yeah, margin. Throwing middle, and it's Come complete. On. Come on. After the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. On first down, Vaughn. Harris has it over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45. Come on. No more mistakes. Let's go. Same exact result as last play. A pickup of a more mistakes. First down, New Orleans. On first and ten. Vaughn. Throwing over the middle, but it's I say that, then I pull that crap. The tight end was the target. Man, I don't know what the hell is going on tonight. Second and ten, third quarter. Jay Money, what's going on, man? Thanks for tuning in, brother. Off play action. Vaughn. Looking long for Thomas. That's caught inside the 20. Ah, man, those Cowboys couldn't beat the Browns this week. What happened to you, brother? It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. Stay outside. He will push his way down to about the 14. Tyler Lancaster on the tackle. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Yeah, Michael Thomas the ball here. Man. Defense wasn't good. I would say the Browns defense wasn't good either, but you know. Complete to his running back Camara. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. First and they're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Try to pound it in, Camara. Look that stiff on him. Hey Jay, what are you doing tonight, man? You want to get on and play something after this, or you busy? This is third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of running game. That was terrible. Come on, we got to get a touchdown here. Come on. Losing yardage. Touchdown here. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. From the gun. Vaughn. And the Jets defense. We can't get it. Fourth down. Let me go for it. Aguilar, I don't even taste some hill package. That's not good for anybody but me. First down. Vaughn. Camara's got the first down and then some. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. Nice catch, Alvin. Nice rack yards, baby. Take this down to the 40 yard line. Oh, nice rack yards. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. And the Saints. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. Huh? An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, there though, go. he foiled that in a big way and turned it into Holding. a big play. Terrible. Terrible. Come on, Ramchek. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? Eric, that's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's a nice catch. A gain of 32 that time. First down, New Orleans. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's a run for Camara. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Camara with the running with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A gain of four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. The 17-yard line. There we go. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way towards wrapping this one up. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Oh, no, he lost the football. No. And the Jets have recovered. No, that's a 
protected that football. I got too greedy with it. Way too greedy. All my turnovers are my fault today. Not the Trying to run down some clock with Camara. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after That's a pickup terrible. of five or six. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Come on. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Camara, the ball. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, Farner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get us. All right, two minute warning. Come on. Check the football. Pastor, you said big third down. I put the word big in capital letters here. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Shakes off the sand. Eluding the pressure. Oh, you're going to give me that. Give me that. Wow. I will definitely accept that. Personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you have. Can't believe I got out of that sack. Following the penalty, it's Camara. And getting this just shy of midfield. They spotted at the 49. Come on. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Now a first down carry. It's Camara. Come on, guys. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Yeah, that's my good dicey. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he is brought shot, down, but not before reaching the 30. Well, some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. Camara with a run on first down, but he's still like you cut right into the block. The the there, always no been game. like that for you, I run in. It is terrible. Timeout. They'll talk things over prior to this upcoming this second down play. Terrible. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. And Cook has it. Left There's side. There's Jared. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Jared Cook. Well, they picked okay, up a little bit of yardage there, and now... Two guys over 100 to go. Should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. On first down, Vaughn. There you go, get him that touchdown. And that could seal it. Get him that TD. To Michael Thomas. Touchdown. A nice throw there by the second year quarterback. Nice adjustment. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. The now Saints the Saints offense will, will remain on the field and go for two. They'll look to throw. And that was probably the wrong play to make. I would say so. I would say that was the wrong play to make. The 30. Pass the 20. And takes it all the way back. I didn't realize I wasn't kicking the field goal. I had to pay attention to that, I guess. So this one a victory here for New Orleans. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Gonna be a great season. Oh man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone. Well, it's one week in the books. So Still haven't Saints, been the reason we've lost the game. Win, so take that as a, you can't ask for much more as a plus. To start the year. And they'll return home next week to take a horrible game for the Packers. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, 385 passing isn't horribly bad, but we threw two picks and we fumbled the ball, so uh, it's got to clean that up. Definitely got to clean that up.
definitely need to clean that up a bit. That's okay. We were all riding high after the win. Back in the locker room, I checked my phone and saw tons of rumors about players who wanted to be traded to our team. Interesting. Wow. I figured it couldn't hurt to mention it to the assistant GM, and sure enough, when I brought it up, he was more than receptive. I mean, who are you making the trades to get these people, though? Who we trade away? Doesn't say. Didn't your offense have a nickname that year? What was it? <laughs> we were setting out to smash records and win championships, so we thought history in the making was appropriate. I like it. I can get behind that. We're still not touching our player. No, we're still not upgrading. It's week four. We're three and zero. Oh. Here we go. I can live with that. What do you got now? Time was tight. We had an autograph signing in just a few hours, but I wanted to make sure I got enough work in with the new guys. That's smart. Well, we'll activate his x -ray. The practice right. seemed to fly by. We all left the field feeling pretty pumped for our next game together. All right. Four hundred yards of offense. Okay. It is possible. It is possible. Fox and Atlanta, Marshawn and Derek Slay. That's not Ricky Vaughn. I stopped throwing picks. Come on, right here. Come on, put your foot down. Put your foot down. Today, no more picks, baby. From the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. I love the intros. I just wish this was on like head to head games. We were playing each other in the franchise, playing each other in like mud. I just wish it gave you any type of intro like this. It's the New Orleans Saints taking on. Philadelphia Eagles. From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Mercedes Benz Superdome in New Orleans. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready. Oh, what do you got here? 400 yards of total offense. Can we do it? It's gonna be tough. Just know that. To throw from his end zone. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And it works the 25. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Good. Stay with the coach on. Stay with the coach on. That's the play call. 
that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end uh -huh. result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's uh -huh. what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. And he'll take a shot here for He's getting a man to play. Uh -huh. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now. Little cut back. Little cut back. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what, he understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. Dancing to his left. Okay. Now he'll pull it down. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Defensively, here you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 point score gives yourself a bit, you give yourself the best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so. Because then you turn into a shootout, and then you draw offense has to keep pace. At the 23 yard line, Trust me? a gain of five. Second and on second down, Camara. I read that and I didn't Melvin make any change. That's the play I gotta make change. Just a one yard pickup there on second. A gain of a yard on the play brings up third and four. From the gun on third down, and the man is Smith. And he takes nice it down play. to the 10 yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Again, this is Camaro. And the running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the 8. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and 8. A gain of 2. Brings up second and 8. To throw on second down. Oh, no. I don't know why he ran straight. Damn it, Michael. So the failure to connect on second down that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Oh no! No! You were wide open. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Not the ball. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Freaking wide open. Most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their home with a little pep in their steps. I should have followed that. But I was That's my fault. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know oh, that's a horrible throw. Jesus. Looking to go back to Thomas again. And now it's second I would like to. There you go. He's done. is that if you're in position to make a tackle, you need to make it. Well, and if you can't make the tackle before that, you just got to knock that ball down, right? Yeah, something has That's to happen pretty. because we saw the end result. Let's get here. Okay. On first and ten. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. Pass in the complete. However, we do have a wow. first down. Let's check in with our referee. 
I'm gonna get some throw power. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, oh man, and Harris is wide open. Look for pinpointing balls. We gotta get the. We gotta. Tune them a little bit better. Gotta tune them down a little bit better. And I threw it right to that guy because I didn't realize that's what he was doing. That was supposed to be a streak. I have to remember Michael Thomas has additional routes. It screws me every time. Just remember he's got extra routes. That's all you gotta remember. Damn. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's the man, John. Touchdown, Saints. Jared Cook, his second touchdown on the season. Great throw. Way to throw him open. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Uh, we got a minute and 12 left. Okay. All our timeouts. Throwing on first down. Ball. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second that down. down. Incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. I, 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 I really don't know what the hell I was doing in that play. To throw again. Ball. Looking long for Thomas. And that's going to be incomplete. I can't float it. I don't know why. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Nice job. Nice job. But not before they work it across midfield. The Saints get to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. On first down. Nice job, Hoop. Nice job, Hoop. He's north of 200 yards here. Go to work, go to work, go to work, go to work. Shouldn't have hurried up. Shouldn't have hurried up. Shouldn't have let it go. His hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps it in the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Okay, nice job. Good read. Second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints add on to their lead. Good read. What a great drive that. Second and six now from the 24. That's we have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. All right. All right. Good half. That's a great half. Excuse me. On first and ten. Vaughn. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. He's a hoot. There you go, Hoop. There you go, baby. The game there on the catch and run. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and ten at the 47. Operating from the gun. Vaughn. The kicker here is complete. And he is tackled inside the 40. Get you to keep going. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. How about a 
a guy improving his worth in different ways. Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And it comes to it yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. In line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Thank you. Being chased out left. Okay. Damn. Too long. It's a good so back to back incompletions, and that has him staring yeah. at a third and ten. From the gun. Flush to his right. Oh my God. He's gonna go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. Giving up on the play too quickly. I need to let it develop and just run my run my game here. <sighs> They'll try to get the offense going with Camara. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27th carrier. After the run, here's second and eight from the 27th. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Vaughn. Looking for his running back, and he's got a move. That's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on yep. 15 more for the face match. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march up another 15 okay. against your squad. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. by Blake Martinez. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Second and nine. At the Eagles. Back to throw. Oh, that's caught over the middle. Hooper. And he works it yeah. past the 30, almost to the 25. Give him 14 on that Gotta one. Be a first down. Now, so. First and 10 at the 26 yard line. Throwing on first down. Vaughn. Yeah, he was hit as he threw it down. What the hell am I doing? It is so long on these throws. On the throw and this should be the final play before it the quarter ends. Second and ten. So I just can't get the playoff. Throwing again. Ball. And he comes back with one complete. I don't know why. Down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. The last catch nearly got him at first, but it did not. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Austin Hooper, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints now add six to their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Right there. there you go. Traquan Smith, his first touchdown on the year. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. As that lead. Yeah, yard wise. 16 more. They'll run out of the gun with Camaro. It's not good enough for that to in my Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago. Nice job, Hoop. Nice job, Hoop. Big, big number. The 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the bad game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Tack on 15 more for the face mask, and that becomes a huge play. Big pass gets caught on you. You're doing everything possible to get him on the ground. And sometimes you end up grabbing the face mask. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And yep. down right around the 32-yard line. Yep. Four yards on the pickup. He's tackled at the Call it a gain of four on first. And that'll Every time I switch to this, it's a good deal. I don't six. understand why. Right up the receiver complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 
game, I guess. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. A 10th carry for Kamara. He takes us down to about the 12th. Kind of just of three. A bit. The tackle three right yards right on that last right. carry. Here's second and seven. Three yard pickup. Brings up second and seven at the Eagles' 12 yard line. Operating from the gun. What the hell? That hit is like three. Three by three. That was a great, that was a great game. Oh, man. It's going to nullify the great game. Damn. Too many turnovers. Way too many turnovers to for me. Very uncharacteristic. Number 10 will make that time by Brandon Graham. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. It's now terrible. second and six. They run it again with Camara. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. Vince Williams. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. A gain of two on the play. Brings up third and four. From the gun on third down. Oh, oh. 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 Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Um, all right, we need this five touchdowns to it. Man, that second pick is really hurtful. Damn. Not what I wanted to see late in the game. Man. Ugh. Okay. So we're going to continue past week four of 2021. See what uh, the franchise brings us. Man. Look at this. 17. Playoff. Wild card. All right, so we're in the divisional round. So we are going to cut the stream here for tonight. We are now, we, next time we jump on, we'll run the 2021 playoffs. We'll be in the divisional round against the Falcons. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream tonight. Uh, this is AC Kingpin 27 for Kingpin Gaming. Hit us up on Twitch at twitch.tv slash AC Kingpin underscore 27. Hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash Kingpin Gaming. Thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in next week for some more Wednesday Night Football. We'll pick up uh, Face of the Franchise with Ricky Vaughn again. And in two weeks, we'll bring Mutt Battles into our Wednesday Night Football. We'll, we'll have Mutt Battles first, and then we'll run Face of the Franchise moving forward on Wednesdays. So thanks, guys, again. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great night.